The winter of 2020 was the wettest we'd ever known. But none of us knew what a strange year was coming our way. When we opened in March, the ponies were very proud of their new little shelter, which had been built over the winter because our old one had blown down in a storm. The ranch was looking good, everything was tidy, and we'd had this very cute new little Shetland pony compost loo bought for the ranch. Very cute. It was wet and windy during March, but the ponies were very happy to see everybody, and we had some lovely rides out across the fields, even though it was a bit muddy underfoot. But then, on the 18th of March, lockdown happened. The ponies had to be turned out in their fields. They had nothing to do but eat. Hmm. And run around and play. That's Dinky and Simba chasing Snowdrop, our new pony. Very speedy. <laughs> well, the ponies had to keep fit somehow because there was no riding at all. For three months during the coronavirus lockdown, the ponies just played happily out in the field with their friends. The wildflowers were in bloom and it was a very pretty place, but the ponies did wonder where the children were. We had to cancel lots of birthday parties, but Hector was even asked to go on a Zoom call to pop in at a little girl's party that had been cancelled. It was lots of fun. When it was allowed, we arranged for our members to come and visit their ponies. We couldn't ride because of the two metre distancing rule but we could take the ponies for a socially distanced wander through the beautiful wildflower meadows. And that was a lovely thing to do. When the rule became one metre plus, we could go back to riding and this meant a lot of training for our staff so that they understood the new rules. Members too had to make changes, riders only in the ranch and the parents had to sit outside. Children were very, very good at following the rules and doing a lot of hand washing. There was a lot of things to clean, but once everything was perfect, we could get back to riding. Yay! The first rides went out again at the end of July. It was so good to be back in the saddle and riding again. The ponies loved it, but there was one problem. All that eating of the grass meant that, oh dear, the ponies were a bit tubby. Yes, three months of lockdown eating that spring grass with no exercise meant that the ponies had to go on a special diet and be weighed every week. Summer was full of fun and the ponies had a lovely time on Pony Club Camp. And it was so hot one day that we actually had to put the ponies under the trees and all rest. Wow, it looks like Australia here. It was a difficult year for our team who had their A-level results assessed by the government, but happily everything turned out 
Okay. Phew. There was lots to celebrate, including Madeline's graduation. Her real graduation ceremony was cancelled, but we had a special one for her at Shetland Pony Club. Yes, well done, Madeline. <laughs> Normal life went on at the ranch, including visits from the farrier and the vet and poor Nottingham cut his back leg but it healed up very nicely and the dentist came as usual to check those choppers open wide dinky our new pony fudge arrived and settled in quickly making friends with Batman and the other new ponies Simba, Tintin and Snowdrop. Our members riding got better and better and Julie our instructor ran a little course on how to improve your trotting and generally everybody's riding got a lot better over the summer. Autumn time meant happy Halloween and time for our popular pumpkin rides. Our pumpkin rides were lots of fun, riding around the farm following the pumpkins and looking for the candy trail. It was great to get outside and enjoy the autumn weather before we all get locked down again. Riding schools here in the UK have been ordered to close for the coronavirus lockdown from the 5th of November. This means that we will close the ranch for the winter early now and hopefully we'll be back riding with you in March 2021. Thank you so much for following our ponies. We hope that you'll join us in our online pony club, which is now up and running, and also on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, where we will be posting live updates of the ponies during lockdown. Keep safe everybody, and we look forward to seeing you in 2021. 21. Thank you for watching Shetland Pony Club TV. There's a new episode every Wednesday. We have a new and exciting Shetland Pony Club online, a place where you can have lots of pony fun at home, full of craft, colouring in and quizzes. If you'd like to join the new Shetland Pony Club online, there's a link below this video. It's free and lots of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and join us next week for more Shetland Pony Club TV.